draw the new projection of this molecule seen from the C3 to C2. So what does that mean? I understand what's the new projection, but what's the C3 to C2? What that means is C3 is our front carbon, C2 is our back carbon. Now, the question is, which one of these carbons is going to be C2 and C3? Right. So that way, you need to find, you need to know what the you know, basically done. That's a five carbon containing system, so pentane, but we need to number from the one, two, three, four, five that way, because uh, if you count this way, it's going to be three, four. Okay? So numbering, so that's the number two, that's number three. Because that numbering is basically the same numbering of the nitrogen here. So now we know which ones are C2 and which ones are C3, but we are asking to see not from this direction because it's going to be C3 to C2. You better be looking at from that direction. You got to look at this way, not the other way. So we are looking at which direction you need to see it. So C3 to C2. So C3 becomes our front carbon, C2 becomes our back carbon. So once you try to align that, then now drawing is a probably, I mean, the, there's a small dot in the center, that's a C3, big circle is a C2. Then we got six such a chains, three in the front and three in the back. But the thing is, now they're not all hydrogen as you see. We need to populate them with the correct one. Otherwise, you're drawing a wrong relationship. So that's the where people normally make a mistake. So C3, this is a C3. We are looking at here. What's on the top one? As we talked about, this solid line is the one on the plane, right? So that ethyl groups, if you look at from here, if you try to look at the molecular that directions, ethyls on the top one. So ethyl goes right there. And on the back carbon, the methyl is a opposite side of that. You can see that. So methyl goes at the bottom. So we find out where the methyl goes, where the methyl goes. But if we still have to place the bromine and hydrogen on the front carbon. So we got two places to put bromine here or the bromine there. Still have a 50 50 chance. So that is where you're going to have a trouble unless you practice it. Which one is going to be bromine? That one or this one? So you have to imagine that you are you're seeing the molecule from the side, you're looking that way, but the bromine is connected to the wedge. It's coming out of the screen, right? Since we are looking at this direction, bromine is over there. So it's on my left-hand side or the right-hand side? That one, huh? That one's a bromine. See, this is not simple if you're doing it the first time. So that's why you do it first, and then you make a model, you look at it, you draw it, and you compare. I think that would be a good idea. That one, the other one, is a sitting on the behind of screen, which is uh, on my right hand side, which is a behind the screen. So that's hydrogen. Now, the back carbon, we have to put a chlorine and hydrogen. Which one's going to be chlorine? Which one's going to be hydrogen? Same will go because if you're seeing this direction, chlorine is the one behind the screen, right? That's on my right hand side, right? And then on my right hand side, this one. So that is a chlorine. And that the other is a hydrogen. That is when we see the molecule from that direction, C3 to C2. My formula to you do, do the neural projections from the C2 to C3. That means you have to look at from that angle and have to draw. And it's going to be opposite way of seeing it, so you don't change it. So you're going to do it in multiple different angles so people can get used to it. So one of the new projections is basically showing that the relative orientation of this conformation, these ethyl groups there, methyl groups are opposite to it, 
and this wheel is going to be keep turning around. As soon as these relative orientations right, you can even do that way. I mean, there's no reason for draw that way. This one and that one is actually the same relative, just being rotated. But that's what the remote position can do. You can figure out whether these two are same molecules or not by looking at what things are substituted. So that's the reason why we need remote protection. Question? Well, first of all, for the remote projection, um, we normally do that for the uh, SP3 hybrid as well. So there's a four substitutions. And then four substitutions, the core in the back. So that's why we only see the shell three. Right? We don't normally do demo projection for the double ones. I mean, we do it in the graded school, uh, we don't do it among the graded school. So we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, so these wheels and turnings are even though you can sometimes you can just overlap right on top of each other. It's, you know, you can do several different ways, but the remote, point of the dream remote projection is to make those arrangements easily seen. So, so that's the reason we're doing the projections. Okay. 